Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a continuation to the short story series that I created and that is What if Deku had a super copy quirk, part 12. Now as usual guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and because you guys are just great, 100 likes guys, 100 likes and I bring up part, the next part right away. Bear in mind, um, by the time this video comes out I'll be doing my 1 hour video, so 1 hour video during the day and 20 minute video later on. My, my 21 minute videos are going to be My Hero Academia ones, so you guys just know. And because I talk too much jibber jabber, let's get into this next part of the what if and that is What if Deku had a super copy quirk, part 12. So of course guys, let our story begin. Brief recap on where we last left off. Izuku did an internship with Endeavor, and instead of like just going there to do some learning, he actually did more teaching than anything and pushing Endeavor twice his power level and pushing Todoroki to the point where his ice and his fire is just on a whole nother level. And not only that, what ends up going down is Izuku saved to, um, all of Hosu from not only the Nomus, but Stain and Ida from getting his revenge and protecting Ida from being seriously hurt. Now, when I technically left the story off, Izuku has just gone to Uraraka and asked her on a date before Uraraka goes to fight 13. And so, from my story, guys, let our story begin. Now, after Uraraka agrees to Izuku's date, she goes off really nervous, but Izuku just tells her, You got this. She smiles at Izuku and what goes down is, just like in canon, but unlike Ayama saying, because they do like Midoriya, or do, are you thinking about him? Iz um, Izuku has made it very clear that he likes her and she's made it clear that she's liked him in, in a manner. So that doesn't make her nervous, it makes her smile. And she's more confident to the point where she actually goes at 13 and uses her, her anti-gravity quirk and 13's gravity quirk, or black hole quirk, to work against her by jumping on and, and decreasing her gravity, jumping around. Which would have thrown her off, and she could re increase her gravity again and jump on 13, take her down using her techniques. Yeah, Aoyama can use her laser to take her out too, so that works like that. They take down 13, and everyone's fight goes relative. Shoto Todoroki's fight is, is way more different to Aizawa, thanks to the fact that Izuku has pushed his fire ice quirk. Like, Aizawa has to really get away, really get away now, because the ice is not just cold, the ice is burning hot, even though it's constructed like ice, and the fire is not burning hot, it's actually frozen cold. So, when you get hit by that fire, you're actually you're getting frozen. Like, even though it looks like fire, it's like an ice ice flame and the ice is like a bloody giant boiling hard ice like it, it's really dangerous Todoroki has become something entirely now guys he still has drawbacks but thanks to Izuki he's working through them working through them and Aizawa really really gets scared when he starts to see the different combination of ice it's not just ice anymore not just fire Aizawa's like ah I see because uh, Todoroki used his flames to freeze Aizawa's scarf in place and then through his flames there Aizawa, Aizawa was able to dodge it but the ice from the flames froze his entire area and thanks to that Mamo was able to smack Aizawa in the head making Aizawa close his eyes because um, it really hurt by the bow staff and then Todoroki jumped up put handcuffs on him they won and what goes down is Bakugo, uh he just fights someone else you know probably Cementos because he's a, he's a bomb and Cementos can take on Todoroki's explosions long story short Bakugo does really great okay and it goes to Midoriya's one this is when everyone's so surprised at how this is going to go Nezu's in a giant zero point robot, and that zero point robot has a three point in which Nezu's technically inside, but not really because he's actually remote controlling it from his office, but it's just the idea of Nezu's giving. And all the other heroes scatter across the um, city gamma, and Izuku walks in, almost like, now, to be fair, Midoriya, I'm just going to state, and Izuku's like, oh my gosh, did he just call me Midoriya? And Izuku goes, we're out on the field, All Might, what's my hero name? All Might, it looks like Izuku's like, oh, I mean Deku, and Izuku's like, and Izuku goes, oh yeah, by the way, I know all the rules because I'm not stupid, so don't wait any of your guys' weights because it's just going to hurt you guys more than anything. And they all smile, um, Vlad King's like, oh, well, all the teachers are like really kind of like nervous. And Izuku goes to All Might, he goes, um, you're going to be the last one I know I'm going to be fighting, so just stay put please All Might, because i got some things I want to talk to you about. So Principal Nizu, when do we begin? And Nezu goes, on you kid, Izuku goes, alright, he instantly falls into the shadows, and he disappears, they're like, what the? Izuku immediately makes um, tendrils grow out of the shadows, black whip, and wraps around people, um, wraps around midnight, grabs um, um, Snipe, all of them, and Snipe ma manages to get through and he shoots a bullet at Izuku, Izuku grabs a rock and throws a stone, as fast as the bullet, knocking the, knocking the bullet away, 
and his snipe begins to do his mean mean as volley of bullets to Izuku. Izuku's running up in the, up the building, jumping around, throwing stones at all the bullets. Their snipes doing it at him until Izuku does a double spin, throws a stone so fast that it goes through both um, snipes' guns, destroying them. His snipes like, "What the? This kid has such a boom!" Snipe gets hit by a stone in his head, knocking him out because Izuku threw it with such such force that it knocked him out. And what goes down is, as they see Snipe fall, Midnight's trying to pull herself out, but Izuku uses a black whip to pull her down into the into the shadow again. And she's like, how is he doing it? And Izuku, Izuku's head pops out of the ground. Oh, I'm just uh, another clone. Hi. Izuku goes back under the ground, and Midnight's like, wow, what the? And as everyone's trying to fight, um, um, Cementos is trying to attack Izuku, but Izuku instantly stomps on the ground, do, doing a counter-attack against him. And then Izuku throws Ice Rider at Cementos, destroying the concrete, knocking him back. And then Izuku instantly forms an ice, ice pillar around him, keeping him off the ground so he doesn't touch no concrete. And Cementos is out, and Izuku takes everyone out until he leaves a certain amount of people. Aiz Aizawa, uh, Principal Nezu, and All Might, almost like... The stand there and Aizawa goes, what the hell are you doing, All Might? We need your help. We can't just take this kid on by ourselves. All Might goes, then if I was to join, he would have taken you guys out all much more harder. I haven't you not noticed, Aizawa? He goes, I definitely know what this kid is doing. But it still means you just made the odds harder. And Nezu's like, don't worry. There must be a reason. And Nezu hits, comes down with a zero pointer. And Izuku instantly disappears like a big blur and obliterates the entire zero pointer like it was nothing. Izuku goes, I know you're not in there, Principal Nezu. I, I use my ability to sense you out. You're in the office, right? And he smiles. Yes, of course. I'm just having tea. And Izuku goes, how predictable. And Nezu smiles. And what happens is the zero pointer gets destroyed. Aizawa tries to cancel Izuku's quirk. But what ends up going down, Izuku's like, nice try, Sensei. But he uses uh, a cloud ability and he grabs Aizawa. He's like, what the? What the hell? And he looks at Izuku. How are you able to use this quirk? And Izuku's like, oh. I will tell you later, but first as you can close the, the cloud ability around Aizawa and throws him away. Like he's nothing and he wraps him up in um, uh, what's it called? A quirk cancelling bullet. Or quirk cancelling quirk cancelling bullet. The quirk cancelling cuff, so all the teachers are restrained. And then Izuku lands right by All Might. All Might's like, I didn't like the fact that I had to let my teachers the teachers fight by themselves, but there must be a reason why you told me to wait, right? And Izuku's like, yeah. This is just a way for me to explain to you. My mom told me that you guys are actually full on dating now, and I wouldn't be surprised if you guys get married soon and move into your own house. All the teachers and everyone understands this now. They're like, oh, Izuku held off the fight for this. And he's just like, whoa, we need to watch this. He puts it on super ultra HD, 1080p, bloody 4K, everything. He puts on the biggest screen ever. Everyone's like, oh no, All Might's gonna get it. They're all looking at All Might almost like kind of nervous. The moment Izuku, Izuku says this and goes, well, I approve, of course. But, I just want everyone to know there's an actual difference between you and I. Oh, by the way, All Might, I figured out how to heal you. I realized that your body can take this quirk because I have your quirk and me and you are pretty much the same. I can pass this quirk onto you. Well, not much passes it onto you, but copy and paste it. All Might's like, what? And just come here. You're the only one that can handle me transferring the quirk like this for now. And All Might, Izuki touches All Might's side. And he goes, why are you doing this, kid? And Izuki goes, I want to beat you at your strongest. And then some. And he goes, what are you doing? I'm copying the Nomu's abilities into your body. Almost like, what? And I'm connecting it to your stockpile. Almost like, what are you saying? You're not going to get the super streak that the Nomu have, but you're going to get um, the shock absorption and the, the hyper regeneration. It will be able to reheal the full injury and take you back to full power, right? Almost as shocked. And Zuka goes, well, here you go. Almost screams in absolute agony. Um, Aizawa goes, why is he helping All Might like that? Why is he helping help us out, you know? And Nezu goes... Because our bodies can't take it, and All Might has a stockpiling quirk, so his body is able to handle this transfer. Incredible. I see. That's what young Midori is trying to do. Work out a way to copy his quirks into other people, so they can be super like him. Hmm. Nice going, Toshinori. Everyone smiles, they now understand. And Aizawa goes, is it okay for him to make All Might strong? Wouldn't he be stronger than the kid? And what goes down is, <laughs> Aizawa smiles, nah, I have no faith in All Might. Izuku's gonna destroy him, no matter what. And he sits down, they all kind of laugh because they absolutely believe it. And so as Aizawa, um, as everyone sits down to watch, All Might starts to breathe heavily and stands up, he's like, hey, I feel good. You feel good, right? Yeah, boom, Izuku punches All Might straight in the face, sends him flying right through multiple buildings. All Might's like, ah, damn, kid. Uh, and almost like, wow, that was really painful, but I didn't feel it as much as it goes, makes sense, punches All Might right through the ground, because your stockpiling quirk amplifies it enough to be able to take it. All Might's like, what? Izuku punches All Might straight into the ground, destroying half the city. Everyone's like, whoa, what the hell? 
and all my gets up, he goes, why did you do that? And he goes, I need a strong sparring partner, you know? Me and you have the same exact quirk when it comes to stockpiling. Meaning, your strength, plus shock absorption, plus hyper regeneration, means absolute fun with me. All my smiles, he goes, I see, kid. Well, let's go then. And Zuki goes, yeah. And as they begin to fight, um, everyone starts to realize that Izuku amped up All Might to a point where he's not as strong as him, but strong enough to push Izuku beyond his normal limits because Izuku is kind of bored how strong it is compared to everyone. And as All Might and Izuku begin to fight, they destroy the entire city. Everyone's like, what the hell? All Might's starting to falter though, despite all the being hit at 100% and then some, having shock absorption and hyper regeneration. All Might's um, starting to get taxed out by Izuku's um, overwhelming strength. And everyone knew that. Everyone knew that, and All Might goes, <sighs> he goes, wow, I thank you so much, kid. And Izuki just lands right in front of him, and he goes, <laughs> kind of guess you wouldn't be out of breath. And Izuki goes, nah, I can do this all day. You know, I don't get tired. And All Might smiles, yeah, you're a freaking nature, kid. And Izuki goes, good. Well, I'm very happy to say that you're worth my mother's time. And this was just a test to see if you can actually hold up and to protect my mother. Yes, you're the number one hero. You were the number one hero, and All Might looks at Izuki. I looks at all mine and goes, but she's my mother, you know. I have to make sure, regardless of you being my absolute hero. And all my smiles at Izuku. And Izuku goes, and this is also the show that even if you tried your best, you're never going to want to fight against me. So, you know, all my gets that threat immediately. All the teachers understand exactly that Izuku just had to talk. All my smiles. And he goes, yeah, kid, you and your mother, you're going to get the hell out of that apartment and live with me, all right? And Izuku goes, yeah, I know. Mom, I, I kind of figured it out, and all my smiles, your mom told you right, and he goes, yeah, they kind of laugh and walk away, it, all the students are like, whoa, all my's gonna be his new dad, what the hell, and Bakugo goes, whoa, that's pretty cool, and Inko, Uncle all my, and Bakugo smiles, but they, they, it, it is like that, it's kind of funny, and so, after the situation, after all this goes down, Tenya Ida goes to see Izuku, and goes, hey, uh, Midoriya, about what you said upon, on um, stain, Izuku um, um, chops um, Ida in the head and he goes, yeah, I forgot about that, sorry. And Izuku goes, you stupid idiot, text me, man. And and, and he's like, I'm sorry, but um, what you said about healing my brother? And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I completely forgot about that. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll go do it now. Hey, uh, I don't need to worry, I'm a hero. And Izuku walks through and, and appears into the hospital. And the, the, the doctor's like, what the? And um, Tenya Ida's brother sees him and Izuku goes, Ida, come on. Ida comes through and he's like, oh. And Izuku goes, don't worry. And Ida's brother sees him and goes, Oh, Ida, what are you doing here? And he goes, I, my friend, uh, Deku. And my, he tries to get up to thank Midori, but um, to say hello, you know, call just because Izuku's a new, a new hero. Izuku puts his uh, hands on his chest. He goes, not to worry. Your pain will be over soon. Izuku closes his eyes and he focuses and sees the damage that Stain calls on his back and his body. And Izuku's like, hmm, not that hard, actually. In fact, it's really easy. Izuku instantly heals um, Ida's brother, and Ida's brother um, starts to feel his back break into place. At first, he feels immense pain, and then instantly, as he's feeling the pain, the pain disappears. He's like, huh? He stands up. What the? I'm fully healed. And Izuku goes, yes, I'm guessing you're fully healed. That's what I come here for. And he kind of smiles, and he hugs Izuku, and, he hugs, and Ida hugs Izuku as well. And Izuku goes, yeah, this is pretty awkward. I'm just gonna state, guys. Um, I have a date with Uraraka, and they're all like, "Oh, oh, sorry, uh, Dadeku." And Izuku's like, "Yeah, smiles." Um, Tenya Ida's brother and Genium goes, "Midoriya," and Izuku goes, "Deku, my name's Deku. Why does people call me by my last name?" Izuku kind of taps his head. He goes, "He understands, but he's like, come on, Deku. I'm the hero, Deku. Call me Midoriya or Izuku at home or somewhere where you're cordial, not, 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 not as a hero." And they, they all understand slowly but surely. And as Izuku uh, um, uh, bows to Ida's brother, and Genium goes, you'll always be a part of this family, um, Deku, no matter what. We're always here for you. And Izuku smiles, and he goes, you're, you're all good. And Izuku walks away and goes, well, Ida, do you want to stay back here with your brother? I'll give you some time, and then text me, and I'll open a portal to bring you back if you want. And Ida goes, you really wouldn't? He goes, yeah, I'll vouch for you. Don't worry. And he goes, thank you, Midoriya. And Izuku taps Ida and head, Deku! And Izuku walks away, and, he, and what happens is, um, Ida's like, he's, he's, he's not nice. It kind of makes him laugh. And then Zuku goes back and he sees Uraraka. Uraraka's kind of like nervous, you know. And she states, oh, I got some. Uh, I'll meet you later on tonight. And Zuku's like, sweet as. And as Zuku goes home, his home is empty. And Zuku's like, what the hell? And Zuku gets a call and he goes, um, mom, where the hell are you? And um, Inka goes, one, watch your tone. And two, we live here. And Zuku goes, ah, oh, 
we live in that apartment now. Izuku walks through a portal by the front door. He knocks on the door and his mum opens the door and she goes, why don't you just teleport inside? He goes, I just wanted to walk through the threshold, mum. As he walks through, he goes, wow, this house is amazing. All Might comes through and he goes, hey, kiddo. He tap, pump, taps Izuku on the shoulder. He goes, hey, All Might, how does it feel being back on your game? He goes, good. He goes, good, good. And he goes, yeah, well, you still... And he goes, looks like I'm not going to retire anytime soon. Izuku goes, oh, you need to retire soon. All Might says, huh? And he goes, come on, you know, we need to retire soon. You're, you're, you're very powerful and on all, but and what happens is it goes, actually, it'll be kind of pointless for you to retire due to what I just did. And all my goes, yeah, you just like gave me a new spring in my step. And it goes, oh, I gave him more than that. I trust me. And all my kind of smiles. And so what goes down is, as Izuku enjoys, um, um, just uh, gets home and, and, well, gets ready, what happens is, All Might gives Izuku a card, he goes, here kid, use my, use my credit card. And Izuku goes, no, nah, I got my own money, remember I'm my, my own hero, thanks to me saving Hosu, I'm a millionaire already, pretty much. All Might kind of laughs, and so does Enko, and Izuku goes, oh, but I can do this too, and Izuku creates a massive gold slab and drops it on the table, and creates multiple, and real diamonds, and Izuku goes, I can do that, of course, you know, to get rich, but I don't. Do what you, what you want, mom. And he goes like, yeah, look at my son, I love you. And she goes, like, and she goes where are you going? And uh, all my like, he's got a date. And she kind of giggles and, and hugs Izuku. And Izuku's like, come on, mom. And he leaves. He's really nervous. He's trying to hide his nervousness. And when Izuku appears right in front of Uraraka's house, uh, he knocks on the door and she comes out. And Izuku smiles. She blushes. They both blushes. The parents buzz out that the superhero known as Deku is right in front of them like whoa this guy is just all might level crazy and so what goes down is Izuku is known as the hero of Hosu the multi-hero so as Izuku bows to them him, him and Uraraka he opens a portal to a fine restaurant and he takes Uraraka there and they have the meanest time in their life the meanest time she smiles and, and she goes I'll pay you back when I can and Izuku goes no no you won't I have my own money now I'm a real hero now. Right now, as we speak, my clone's out there taking out um, villains as we speak. And she's like, what? And he goes, yeah, he smiles. So I can still do hero work and spend a lot of time with you. And he goes, oh, I'm not just here for that too. Izuku um, does kiss her right on the cheek. And she, she blushes hard. But I, I'm not that. But Izuku goes, how would you like that I invest in your father's company? And she's like, but why? And he goes, well, I've got the money. Your father's had this construction company. And he could use it, you know? And she goes, that would... And she at first she's nervous, but Izuku's like, "Don't worry," and she smiles. Why are you doing that? And Izuku goes, "Well, I like you. In fact, I've got so much emotions towards you that I'm really nervous to say." He's shaking. She's blushing. And Izuku goes, "I want you to be my girlfriend, Uraka, and by extension, my future partner, properly." And she blushes and she she accepts. And as, she, as she's about to fly away again, Izuku keeps her there and brings her close. She hugs him and she kisses him and they do whatever. After that, she goes home. She t um. She tells her father the proposition and he told him that he'll talk about it after they finish like um the camping um trip and so they're fine with it. And so what goes down is when they come to the camping area or get into the um onto the bus, all of one they have passed the test, all of them. And what goes down is as they go to the camping ground area, they they meet their wild wild pussycats and Izuku copies all their quirks immediately and he finds them really interesting. Especially the one that allows them to pretty much find people and track them and the telepathy. And as Izuku sees this, he goes, Ah, uh, let me guess. Should we just jump off now? I, um, I must, what happens is, um, as I was like, You know, you know, kid. Point us right. And Izuku said, Yeah. Everyone, let's go. Izuku uses uh, Mandalay's ability to um, warp the ground, or her ability to warp the earth. And everyone falls off. Izuku makes clouds under every single one of them. And and what happens is, um, Aizawa completely forgot that Izuku can use Shirakumo's abilities. Which doesn't make sense to him. But Izuku makes clouds, catches all the 1A. And then was like, thanks Deku. And they're alright. And as they go through, Izuku goes, I read all their minds. So I know how this is going to go. Monsters are going to attack us. So we need to work as a pencil unit. Todoroki, Bakugo. And they go, yeah. And Bakugo goes, dynamite idiot. And he goes, sorry. And he goes, dynamite. Um, you guys take front. Take out all the creatures in the front. Ida, make sure you keep up the ring. Keep everyone together. Hiroshima, all you guys together, right? They're like, right. Izuku, let's go. We'll move as a team. And as they're going through, they're like, um, Jiro's like, why don't you open the portal? And Kaminari says the same thing. Izuku goes, I would like to, but then it wouldn't help, you know? And they're like, oh, yeah, that's true. And as these creatures come right away, right away, Bakugo and Todoroki destroy them. They annihilate them, and they make it there pretty fast. Instead of making it in two hours, they make it there within an hour, easy as. 
and they're not as puffed out as possible as they normally would because they interchanged on people's quirks and people's abilities and Deku picked up the slack where they didn't have where they couldn't make it and so when they got set up everything was fast as and everyone got ready to eat food early as and get ready and until it came to the next day and uh, Izuku met Koda and Koda didn't punch Izuku because Koda knows about Izuku and how scary he can be possibly and so what happens is Koda just stayed away and so when it came to the next day of training the Wild Wild Pussycats looked at Izuku and they go um, so we hear that you're pretty much a teacher at the school and uh, actually pro hero so uh, hero Deku and they go yeah can we actually get your help to utilize your abilities to train other kids using your quirk? And Izuku's like, yeah, yeah, I understand. Izuku makes clone for every single one of them to have the same quirk as them, or the opposites. Like, for instance, he's got a quirk, uh, quirk against Bakugo to make him a, a water quirk, you know, like manuals. Um, like Todoroki, a quirk that um, overexerts Todoroki's ability to, um, well, overexert his temperature, you know, on weakening him out. And so on and so forth. Uraraka, like telekinesis, all that stuff. And so as they all begin to train, they train crazy for the next two days. And when it comes to the third day, this is when 1B comes in. And the Vale King's like, okay, I'm not going to break you guys down. But just to show you how different you guys is 1A. Everyone starts to realize Tokuyami, uh, Dark Shadow, is humongous. He's huge now. Uzuku made it so that Tokuyami's cloak absorbs 100% light. He looks like he's completely pitched but dark in the day. And Dark Shadow's a monster. Really powerful. Making a nearly unbreakable armor over him. And not only that, Todoroki and them all smile. Bakugo is really powerful. Everyone's above their games. Even, even now, uh, what's it called? Mineta, he's above his games. And what Class 1B is like, oh, wow. We have to go against that. And then they see that Izuku's trading them more. And they're like, oh, because they have him. And Vlaking goes, oh, you think because they have him that you guys are not going to be strong? You're, they're not the only one that's going to have him. Izuku appears as another clone. He goes, oh, so 1B. Hey, Vlad King he goes, hey, Hero Deku. Um, they're here for you there, kid. And Izuku goes, great, great, great. Hello, 1B. So I'm your teacher for the next holidays. You're at the Wild Wild Way and you're using the Wild Wild Pussycats facility to train, okay? Thanks to the incident. And so the dorms can be done. Everyone's like, oh, okay. And he goes, I hope you guys are looking forward to the training because uh, I am all your guys' weaknesses. And so from there, guys, let our story end. Now, please like and subscribe if you guys want to... Um, for me to continue this i am going to continue this okay and from there guys i'll be making my other videos soon all right sorry about that it's a lot to be happening with christmas and new year's i'm over it now we're coming into the new year let's go but as usual guys this is dr kahu saying peace